Right, so let me get this straight. Y'all would rather be signed but not into a polyandry relationship where there's no hiding, there's no secrets. Make it make sense. Yes. Now, I think it's wrong being a side but at the same time, I understand why most dudes would be the side piece. Because the side piece don't have no responsibility. All you're doing is collecting the That's it. You're just the supply. This is 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims, who was working at a local Home Depot. She had a two-year-old daughter with this man, 20-year-old Keith Agee. Keith got a phone call from his doctor telling him he had an STD just days after being intimate with Brooklyn. I've never been so mad in my life. Which made him so mad, he immediately left his job and drove 90 minutes to the Home Depot store where Brooklyn was working. Keith entered the store, confronted her about the STD, and became enraged when she turned her back and began to walk away from him. And that's when he shot her seven times in aisle 52 of the store. Even more disturbing, his mom also worked at the Home Depot and was Brooklyn's manager and texted her son that if he didn't kill Brooklyn, he was a m bitch. It was later revealed in court that Brooklyn didn't even have an STD. He was charged with premeditated murder and was sentenced to life in prison. This is 18-year-old Brooklyn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's put two and two together. He cheated, caught an STD, and blamed his girl for it? Oh, man. Boy, ain't no f way. I hope he in prison making peanut butter sandwiches. So I saw this really cute guy, and I thought to myself, he's so cute, and I'm just going to keep walking by and not say anything. And this is why Females do that. They see an attractive guy that they're gonna walk by and hope he say something. And then when he don't say nothing, it's his fault. Probably why I'm single. Because this strategy is not working. Yeah, obviously. Like, so I saw this really cute guy. When I was younger and I was having anxiety about talking to females, I remember something that this chick told me. Just as nervous as you feeling to go up to a chick, if a chick like you, she's just as nervous to go up to you. There's no need to be afraid. There's no need to be scared. The most she can say is no. And no has never killed anybody. So ladies, you know what's crazy though? I feel as though back in the day and how females are now is completely different. The way they say no now is crazy. Because a chick might say no to you and then you might come across a video of that talking about you. Doesn't want to use insurance. Just hit my car. License plate. Actually, your car was sticking out. It doesn't matter, you hit it. It doesn't matter. How are you going to hit the car and are say it was sticking out? Yeah, yeah. Now you need the more. You got to grow. You're a grown-ass man over here recording a fucking young woman. Oh, it doesn't matter. You sound crazy. Okay, um, so some guy's car was sticking out. I was driving and I hit his mirror. He's over here recording me, telling me that I'm going to pay for his mirror. I'm on Myrtle. My pants, my pants pantry. It's a Chevrolet Tahoe. His mirror, like, my, my, his, I was driving down the street and his, his car was sticking out. So our mirrors hit and his glass is like, it's out. I the, like, the mirror is not broken, it's still there. It just popped. Yo, you literally admit to what you did on camera. But the fact that you admit to what you did and still think that you're not wrong is crazy. If I was you, my boy, I already got the evidence. I'll just call 911. Because now she's just calling people to try to get violent with you. Now, he's over here saying to give me my... I think it'd be so interesting when you see certain things online of people just being dumb. She's been in the streets or he's been in the streets. Does that really matter or you think we are powerful enough to spiritually cleanse? I don't think it really matters because if you study ancient history, some of the greatest whores on the planet were actually some of the greatest wives. Why? Because they came to terms about what they was doing and about who they were. A lot of times there's nothing wrong... Hey, yo, who mans is this? <laughs> who, whose mans is this? And them classic books? And them classic tales? Nobody had no respect for them harlots. Nigga, them harlots was getting stoned in the Bible. What you talking about? Along with person having that many bodies. Now, you could look at it in a form of a, a spiritual exchange because it's a form of energy transfer. You can cleanse that energy. When you have a healthy form of ego, 
when I come across a woman and she got a hundred bodies, I don't really castigate her for having a hundred bodies. You know what I'm saying? I think my energy is enough to cleanse her. Just like Jesus, I saved her. Hey, that's a, that's a powerful explanation. I've seen guys, their women have a lot of bodies, but they be like, hey, I'm going to be the last body. They have a mindset like, hey, there's not a lot of real men out here. And, you know, the woman at the end of the day, if she's her, she's hers. That's, that's probably the best explanation i probably heard yet. Hey, shout out to my boy Leon, too, bro. But Leon, Leon, I'm not supporting that message, my boy. I'm not supporting that message at all. If we being spiritual about these type of things, every time that young lady laid with somebody, a part of that person left with her. When she get to you, let's say she got she have a hundred bodies. It's a hundred different spirits inside that woman. And God knows what type of things them spirits was going through. Ain't no way we doing that. You gonna cleanse her like you, Jesus. Nigga, please. I'm not supporting that. I am not supporting that. Don't nobody want a car that's been used and abused. Whenever you have a car with high mileage, it takes a lot of maintenance. It might look good. I've seen great looking cars with high mileage break down on the highway. The radio still work, but the engine ain't shit. Alright, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. If you're a young girl and you're dating an older guy, please be careful. And do not have kids until you're like almost 30. Um, really weigh out your options. And um, date people closer to your age because older people tend to. It's crazy how this video just fell in my lap. I've already learned my lesson when it comes to the age gap discussion. If you haven't seen the video I dropped about the 34 year old dating 19 year old, I'm gonna leave a link right here. For those of y'all who seen it and those of y'all who then came at my neck for my feelings on that situation, here we go again. Here we go again. Um, be very oh, manipulative and run game on you. And. They, they play with your emotions and they drag you through the mud just because they know that you're more gullible and vulnerable. I, I've been with the same person since I was 16 years old. He is now 41 and I'm 26. We just had our sixth child. That's a bad, okay? I'm one hell of a mom. I'm hands on. I'm always home with them. You 31 dating a 16 year old, you should be in jail. <laughs> I'm always the, the parent that's doing everything while he's out doing whatever. I just gave birth to our sixth child and he literally did not come and support me through this traumatic experience. My father was here and his reason was because I told him that he dogged me out during my entire pregnancy. He was not there. He was neglectful. No belly rubs, no bath being ran, no consideration for my feelings, no empathy, no sympathy, no nothing. So he was like, finish it yourself. I'm like, you don't care about your son coming into the world and him being healthy and okay? And he's like, no, you can name whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care how many kids you have. I don't care how used you are to your girl giving birth. You could have 10 kids and your 11th one is on the way. You show up to that hospital. Who wouldn't want to see their child being brought into this world? And I'm 26. I dedicated my whole life to wanting to be a good mom, giving him all of these kids because he didn't have kids. When, you know, first got together, he was like 30 something, 32, 33, whatever. 31. And um, I'm still going to be one hell of a mom, but it fucking hurts, <laughs> like, it do, uh, but life goes on, and this is not the end of the world for me, I'm hoping that um, sometime later down the line, because I don't want a relationship anytime soon, that I find a good person that can see the value in all of this, because people like to be very judgmental about situations like this. I hate to break it to you. You might find somebody. You might find a diamond in the rough. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be like playing the lotto. Because you're coming with six kids. It's not a lot of men out there that's willing to take on somebody else's six kids. But if you're a young female, please date 
within your age and don't give up your life so easy. Um, although I don't regret it for the sake of my kids, my kids are amazing and very fucking smart um, and very close. Um, if I can go back, I would have chose somebody closer to my age that wouldn't have drugged me through the mud like he has. And there's just been a lot more to it. But this is just what I experienced today. And this was the nail in the coffin for me. Enough for me to be like, I'm never going to be with you again. And I'll take the six kids and I'll figure it the fuck out. I've been already doing it by myself anyways. So it is what it is. But that's my only message for today. And this is what I want to tell my daughters too. Don't date anybody older than you. He's 15 years older than me. 14 years older than me, whatever. Same shit. Um, and I have been drugged through the mud and still believe in his words. The times that he's good. And the times that he's like, I'm going to try. I'm going to get my shit together. And I'm sorry. And he never does. And he goes back to the same typical regular shit every time. So don't believe the bullshit. Don't believe the love, love bombing. Just do you. I want to say it's not your fault, but at the same time, at some point in time, this man had to show you who he was. At some point in time, before those kids, this man had to show you who he was. Now, I know you were young. Damn. Would this be... Let me ask y'all a question. Would this be considered somewhat like uh, Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm Syndrome is when a person... A victim. Hey! Hey! Yes! Who are them people up there? Anyway, like I was saying, um, Stockholm Syndrome is when the victim falls in love with the victimizer. Would this be considered similar? At 16, and this man was in his 30s, that's criminal activities. But then again, she was so young, he brainwashed her into it. She ain't know no better. They got the experience that I was talking about in the last video. When you don't have the experience, you can't decipher what love is. You can't decipher, well, this is wrong. This isn't right. In a sense, you don't know right from wrong when it comes to those type of relationships. You feel as though that's how it's supposed to be. I already, I already know the comment section going to be full of y'all defending this man. Telling me how wrong I am. After she became an adult, she should have known better. How? If they've been together since she was young. How, Sway? Y'all don't believe these old ass be manipulating these young girls? 